All right, here's another video about Traction 6 and another new feature. This is track tagging. It's very simple to use, but a very convenient feature. It allows you to hide some of your tracks in a very simple way, and I'll just show you how it works. So right now I've got a multi-track mix shown here, and this is pretty typical rock mix. And so what I'm going to do is click on the first track and do a shift select of tracks. You do that by clicking on the track name. And then I'll go down here, I'm going to choose all the drums. Now I've already got them assigned to a color. That's not new. You can assign the colors right here to pick different colors to set off the different kinds of tracks. But what we're talking about is actual tagging. So this is new. Right here, I could put in a tag and we'll call this drums. And then hit enter, just tab off of it. And now you'll see over in the browser, I've selected the tracks tab. And you can see I have one tab here for drums. And I can select it. Well, before I do anything more with it, I'm just going to tag the other one. So I'll give bass its own tag. And then I'll give the guitars a tag. Let's see, guitars. Actually, for this, I'll just call these instruments. So I'll create an instrument tag. And then we'll go on down here. And we'll select the vocals with a shift select. And we'll just call these vocals. And you can see that each time I did that, a new tag appeared up here. Then the trick here with this is that down here we can have show only tag tracks. So when I click that and then I click bass, I see only bass. Now if I if I select none, no tags, then I see all the tracks, but now I can filter by just my vocal tracks, just my instrument tracks, just my drums. Or if I want to see my drums alongside my bass, I can do it like this. So a lot of times it's really nice to edit the kick al alongside the bass. So this is kind of a nice way to be able to quickly get that set up. And that's what track tagging is all about in Traction 6.